Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were the pre-race favorites, and you lived up to the role with brio. Well done for this win. We retain the green jersey. Well done, guys. Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Tour de France 2020 playthrough with Team Ineos. Today it is time for stage number 18, a stage which I think will decide the destination of this year's yellow jersey and the winner of the 2020 Tour de France. But before we get into stage 18, let's have a quick look back at stage number 17, a stage where Egan Bernal pulled out a fantastic win. Believe it or not, everyone was fairly level going up that final climb, but an attack was launched by Bernal and he absolutely stole it from everybody else, winning by 3 minutes and 27 seconds to Fugel Sang behind. Garant Thomas also managed to gain 14 seconds on his rival Roglic for the yellow jersey. A good stage as well for Richard Carapaz, Mikhail Kvatkovsky, uh, and Chris Froome, Castro Vieja and Dennis. Not doing too bad overall in the top 50. Uh, in terms of the climbing classification, Bernal picked up some good points. Points classification, um, a few points picked up for Kvatkovsky, who still leads that green classification as well as the polka dot jersey. In terms of the young rider classification, uh, Bernal is now very close to having a Poe. As you can see, he gained nearly six minutes on the Belgian in the stage. And uh, a good stage all round for us. And it leaves the classification as a whole looking a little bit like this. We are 1 minute and 28 behind Roglic, who leads the general classification, has the yellow jersey at the moment. But Fugel Sang had a great stage. He finished in second, so he minimised the gap. Uh, to Thomas, that's just five seconds now, so a big stage for us, and all of our focus has got to be on Garant in this stage. However, Mikhail Kvatkovsky is, unless he has a really poor stage today, pretty much guaranteed to finish fourth in the standings. He's in a group of his own, really, in fourth place, but Carapaz in eighth place. Uh, Bernal makes it four, Riders in the top ten. Um, again, we just have to concede, really, that that failure in stage number two has cost Bernal this Tour de France. Had some really good stages recently, and I think he's our best puncher in the mountain. So a real shame that we can't go through with him. But we're in the situation that we're in, and we can't really do too much about that. In the polka dot jersey, though, uh, Kvatkovsky leads by 50 points now. It's really just a case of it being a mathematical uh, thing now of Kvatkovsky having that polka dot jersey at the end of this Tour de France. So an absolutely fantastic job because of Bernal's great climbing uh, capabilities in the last few in the last I was going to say the last few frames. That's a snooker reference. In the last few stages, uh, he's managed to climb to third in that standing. And Grant Thomas has moved down two places into sixth. But in that classification as well, four riders in the top ten with Carapaz rounding out the top ten. In the points classification, uh, Kvatkovsky leads Sagan by 21 points. Really, um, a two-man classification now, and there's some sprints in this stage that we'd probably be looking to take advantage of with Kvatkovsky. Uh, in the white jersey classification, as you can see, Egan Bernal now very close uh, to Evan Apoe, the Belgian. Only 39 seconds between the two, and it's fair to say it's a two-horse race for that jersey. In the team classification, there's no sort of race to be had, really. I think we've won the team classification and in the compatibility classification, Mikhail Kvatkovsky still leads that. So as a result of winning the stage, all of our riders get a recovery bonus of plus one. Recovery bonus of plus two and in addition to that for Bernal for winning the stage. Grant Thomas finished third, so he gets a recovery bonus of two as well. As well as Mikhail Kvatkovsky, who retained the green jersey. But this is the final mountain stage. It's going to be really tough today. As you'll see, the amount of crimes is criminal. But it'd be an interesting... Uh, just I say crimes... The amount of crimes is a criminal. I meant the amount of climbs is criminal. Or the amount of crimes... Oh, it sod it. You know what I mean. But just look in a minute how many climbs there are. It is criminal, as I've just said. It's frightening. But hopefully good management of this stage and Garant Thomas can come out on top uh, ahead of his rivals. But it's going to be very tough. Here we go. Stage number 18. It's a day in the mountains. The finish isn't decided at the top of the climb, but the route is challenging, and it's an important day for the general classification. You will have to be there on the final climb if we are to do well. I'm not too worried. I think we're able to win the stage, outdistancing the other favorites. Have a good day, guys. Come on, we're aiming for victory. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to you. Five mountain passes, 4,000 meters of vertical gain. The riders won't be taking it easy today. 
Talents as a climber are essential for aspiring stage winners, but descender skills won't go amiss either. Hello there folks and welcome to stage number 18. This is going to be very challenging uh, and right from the outset we're going to get Castro Viejo um, to protect Grant Thomas. And also Dennis to protect Bernal because even though we're not challenging with Bernal to win the stage, ultimately we are looking to try and uh, get Bernal up there in the late stage. So you know he's a solid uh, man and ultimately... Uh, if Bernal's there, he can support Thomas later on. So that's why we're looking to uh, make sure that uh, Bernal is protected as well as um, Grant Thomas. As you can see, there is an attack at the head of the peloton. Uh, we decided to put Chris Froome in today's breakaway as well as Mikhail Kvatkovsky. Obviously, there is a sprint coming up very soon. So we were just looking at trying to get Kvatkovsky some points in that sprinting classification. Um, we will go back to Mikhail now. Uh, all should be in order in the peloton. Uh, really should just protect our leaders. Grant Thomas, the aim is for him to finish in the top five. Uh, sorry, to win to finish in the top three. Um, and for Egan Bernal to win the stage. And for Richard Carapaz to finish in the top five. And also, obviously, for Mikhail Kvatkovsky to retain the lead of the green jersey. But uh, as you can see, we've got the sprint coming up fairly soon. Apparently another attack at the hell of the peloton. Nobody really can, uh, is a problem for the general classification. It's going to be tough though today because it's two big climbs before we get that first feed. Uh, in uh, sorry, the second feed. So we'll probably consume all of that feed on that second climb, I would say. Because if we consume it obviously on the first climb, then we've got nothing to reserve for that second climb. Uh, that first climb though does look a little bit tricky. And interestingly, an uphill sprint. I haven't had that for a bit. So the downhill has ended very quickly. Uh, there's nine riders in today's breakaway. There's not a massive gap to the peloton. So we might have to force the issue a little bit with Kvatkovsky here. Try and push that gap out. Because we don't want to happen what happened in the last stage. Uh, where the peloton catches back up. There's no point in that. We want a good breakaway here. And we'll see how we get on. But the peloton are riding hard to be fair. But uh, I'll see you all when we get to that first sprint. Well the breakaway seems to have drawn a blank here. It's not really worked. But we're going to go again with Kvatkovsky. Chris Froome protecting him. I don't think it's going to work. Ultimately. But we'll give it a go. There's a few guys that have gone ahead again. Uh, Chris Froome has gone back into the peloton now. But ultimately there's about a 45 second gap to the peloton. I think that there's probably been an update to the game I would say. In the last few stages. Because I've noticed in the last few stages that the breakaways haven't worked. The peloton have ridden really hard. I suppose that adds an element of challenge here, but with Kvatkovsky, we wanted to just keep a good pace up because obviously we've got the sprint coming up. Uh, I don't think Sagan is in this group. He's not, no, so as many points as we can get, that would be great. And that sprint uh, is going to be fairly close. But I just wanted to update that that first initial breakaway didn't work, but maybe this second breakaway might be a little bit uh, more effective. As you can see then, five kilometres to the intermediate sprint. No surprise really that the Peloton is attacking, trying to get some good points in that sprint. Um, we're not really bothered in that classification, apart from obviously Kvatkovsky. As you can see, the top five are pulling away a little bit. But, it's okay, we've got a decent gap to them. Yeah, we don't want them to pull away, but we haven't got the most energy in reserve. Obviously we don't want to use it all here. Three kilometres to go. We're going to struggle to do it here, to be honest. But ten points would be pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. No danger of anybody coming from behind, I don't think, to take any points. We'll have to see what the pace of these guys is like. Uh, Benut's in the race, potentially, for uh, this classification. But 119 points. I mean, Kvatkovsky's on 231. So I think it's mathematical that it's going to be either uh, Mikhail or Sagan, or who wins that classification. I think we're just going to settle for the uh, the 10 points here, to be honest. Unless anybody blows up before the end, which would be great. There's a bit of a downhill, though, here, which is nice. We might as well try and go for it here. Don't think we're going to get anywhere, though. No, we'll get sixth, though. 10 points. Let's see if... Um, 
Peter Sagan didn't do anything. Apparently, we can't use, lose the yellow jersey today. So it's, uh, sorry, the green jersey today, which is brilliant. Van Ayer gets some points. Sagan gets eight. So, as I said before, it was important. We've gained uh, two points on Sagan. Just slowing down a bit now because our blue energy has started to deplete a little. And we'll probably go back into the pallet, but that's exactly what we were aiming to do anyway. So, we'll wait for the following group. Oops. No point uh, pushing too hard. Again, we're not too bothered about the mountain passes here. Just want to make sure we use our energy uh, effectively. So I'll see you guys at the top of the climb, or if anything interesting happens. Oh, somebody's broken away, but that's Yates. Again, nobody really too influential in the general classification. But if any of our rivals launch a break, then uh, I'll let you know. As you can see, that breakaway has really extended its lead. Nearly nine minutes ahead. Banuk picks up ten points at the front. Uh, nobody important, really, for that polka dot jersey, to be quite honest. We've all kept uh, in fairly good reserve coming up this climb. But uh, I think it would be valuable to just launch a little bit of an attack with uh, Bernal and Thomas here. Just to, just to try and gap the field a little bit. Obviously, we've got that descent coming up. We'll give it a go. We'll get Benali's protecting... Oh, alright, okay. Protect Grant, so you need him to, okay, to come with us. Just try and get a little bit of a gap here. Again, it might not work, but we've got some good energy. So, again, it'd be worth giving it a go, potentially, here. I think we've got, just got a, a, ride, a, a pallet in this riding hard, to be honest. Mm, interesting. So, Benal's just not bothered. Great. Um, we'll tell him to attack. Don't know why he's uh, fallen to sleep there. We've got a decent gap with Grant Thomas. Most importantly, we've used uh, none of our feed coming up this climb. Which is good. We've got a good descent after this. But Grant's got a little bit of a gap. Uh, again, we're going to tell all of our guys to attack here. Why not? Just try and bolster our position in the pallet, if anything, and see what happens. I feel like this descent is a good chance to A, game some energy, and B, put a good attack in. And obviously, Thomas is our main man, so we'll give a focus on that. Carapaz, Bernal starting to pull away a little bit. But it'd be good if Bernal can catch up to us here. Well, I think this attack has definitely worked. Bernal has caught up, as you can see. And uh, the other guys are starting to ride hard behind. So they're using some of their energy up, which is great. Um, Carapaz is in that eighth group. Uh, the majority of our guys, I'm guessing, are in that uh, third group, that ninth group. But I think this has worked. Again, we've not used too much energy. We've got a good gap, uh, at least for the moment. That might diminish. But ultimately, this will sort the, the big guns from the boys, if you like. The men from the boys here. Just try and tire everybody out. We've got good pace. Again, we didn't consume any of our feed. Probably just putting a good turn of pace in here again. Be a good idea. Just try and develop a bit of a gap. So, we've got all of our guys, yet yeah, in that group. Again, none of our feed consume, which is important. And as you can see, Bernal and Thomas doing well here. We did um, get them to ride hard. It was confirmed because we are considered dangerous for the stage win. Um, the other guys have started to ride hard. So, it's not just a natural thing that they've started to ride hard. It's because they've seen that we've broken away and thought, ooh, right, we might need to uh, do something here. As you can see, Bernal takes the virtual lead of the white jersey, which is outstanding to see. But uh, this is just a case of being careful down this descent and uh, then starting that next category climb. So I'll see you guys when we get there. As you can see, the Palantir has now come back up to us. It's a strategy that definitely worked though because we've gained at least two minutes on those guys uh, at the front. I know it's not all about that. Again, none of them are important for the overall result. However, we just want to try and tie some people out ultimately here. We've got all of our feed left with everyone. Everyone's looking okay for the moment. Long climb this. Seems to be the toughest around in the middle stage. Trying to get a little bit better placed with uh, Garant here. As you can see, the two rivals right next to us. Rodrik and Fuglesang. And I think it'd be a good idea here to just uh, try and launch a bit of attack. At this point. Again, we'll try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Try and get a little bit better place and then really try and launch that attack. Okay, well placed here. 
Castro Viejo is protecting us, but uh, we'll get Bernal to protect us again. See if that works. Uh, okay, fine. <clears throat> so let's see how this goes. Again, might not work at all. But putting a good, good good turn of pace could definitely try and space out the field. You can see that there's only 53 in this group. There's 59, including Dennis, that have been gapped. Thomas putting in a good effort here. Not really going to do much, though, I don't think. So, yeah. Nobody really reacting to that. I think it's probably better just to play it cool for the moment. Val Gren's going to join our group. I mean, it was the eighth group at one point, wasn't it? The Paladin. It's now only, it's now only going to be the fifth group, I think, if we catch up to Val Gren. All still looking okay. Castro Viejo could probably do with a little bit of a feed at some point. But all tickety-boo at the moment. We've got all of our feed left, which is a good sign. And uh, it doesn't really get much tougher than this, the climb doesn't, to be honest. But we'll consume our feed as we get to the top because obviously we've got uh, got another feed coming up, so it'd be daft not to consume it. Look at this pillock in the middle of the road. He's just been run over by about five of the bikes, I think. Right, five kilometres to go till we get to the summit here. This group has been really drawn out. Good news is that there's the six of our guys that are still in there. Um, we've told the, 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 the bottom four, if you like, just to follow and don't overtire. We've consumed uh, our blue feed with Castro Viejo, Kvatkovsky and Chris Froome. But Carapaz, Bernal and Thomas have all got those feeds left. So we get to the five kilometre mark. The Peloton will really, uh, well the Peloton's uh, nine minutes back now or however long it is. Eleven minutes back. Thomas has been dropped but the rest of our, uh, not Thomas sorry, Dennis has been dropped. But the rest of our guys looking pretty good here. All the big guns in this group. Vogel Sang, Roglic, Thomas, obviously Bernal's in there as well. He's a big fighter. Okay, he's not going for the general classification, but we know we can use him to our advantage. We've actually become the Peloton now, so presumably some of the guys have tailed off from that uh, group at the back. But we'll start to use our feed about two kilometres out. Don't want to use it too early. Just checking if we've got a potential chance to launch a bit of an attack. I don't think there is. But obviously this first half of the race isn't the most important. But we're in a group with the favourites at the moment. That can only mean one thing. That's good. Positive. But uh, if there are any attacks, we'll tell Bernal to follow them. He's got a good amount of energy. I think we'll say the same for... Carapaz, he's looking good. I think probably Garant's looking the weakest of the three here, to be honest. As you can see, a very small group, though, in comparison to what it usually would be. Okay, Castro Viage will be ending to lose touch, so we'll tell him to consume his uh, red gel. We'll tell him just to persist smoothly. If he loses touch, there's not too much we can do about that. You're just going to have to sacrifice him here. So Benut's going to get another 10 points. He's definitely going to be the lead man in the climbs today, I'd say. But I mean, you know, 61 points maximum. Not going to worry about him. So, two and a half kilometres to go roughly here. We'll consume... Might as well consume some of our red gel. In fact, we'll tell um, all of the guys to consume their red gel at this point. Go back to Dennis. Just check he's okay. Consume your uh, red gel. At least we're following Demoulin here, not using all of our energy, which is great. But most of our guys in this group, we can definitely use them later on if they're still there. 11th place for Grant Thomas, though, at the moment. Two kilometres to the top. All the points have been distributed at the top of the order. But it's looking absolutely fine here. Again, we, there's no point trying to force the pace here, I don't think. So, two kilometres to go. Get Carapaz and Bernal to consume their blue gel. Same for Garant Thomas, but not really much going to happen here. So, 
yeah, not really much to report on. Obviously, we'll stay till we get to the top of the climb. Consumed all of our feed now, but no real risk here. Castro Viejo back in the group. Good to see. And it's all looking fine. A kilometre to go. And I'll probably see you guys at the next climb. Because nothing's really going to happen here unless there's a massive attack. And I can't see it. So once again, it's split into two different groups. Uh, the green jersey holder, Kvatkovsky, is in that second group. The pallet, naturally, now this group of 19. Fugel Sang is a little while behind. That's interesting to see. But I think he'll catch back up. Uh, and as you can see, nobody really dangering the general classification in that second group. But the good news is our big three, really are in this first group. So the group lessens even more as we come to the top of this second class climb. Just a reminder that there's two climbs to go. Uh, a first class climb and then a second class climb before a descent for the end. A uh, little bit less blue energy than I'd like for um, Grant Thomas here. But Thomas, Carapaz and Bernal doing okay in that group. As we come to the top of the climb. Obviously no points for these mountain passes because of the breakaway at the front. But I think now would be a good time to start to attack. So we're going to get Bernal to protect Grant Thomas. And get uh, Carapaz to attack. Okay, Obviously we've got a downward slope here. Just try and force the pace. We've done well at that. There's only a group of 12 now. Fuglesang is starting to lose a little bit of ground. And the aim is to continue that trend. And hopefully the same to happen to Roglic. I can't see it, but I suppose you never know. So we're going to put in a big turn of pace now. We've got pretty much to the bottom of this descent. Again, it's just tricky to tell when to put this pace in. Ultimately, we've really got to beat Roglic by some amount today. Oh, thanks, Bernal, for getting in the way there. But we're not going to win today's stage, I don't think. Again, those guys at the front are just far too far away. But we're not concerned about them, really. Good to see we're well placed in this group, which includes... Fuglesang, Roglic, all the big players for the yellow jersey. As I said, today's the last mountain stage. Technically, flat stages don't really have much of a, an impact on the yellow jersey. That time trial might make a difference, but today is going to be a big one. So, uh, how far are we away from that next climb? Not too far away. So, it'd be good to put in a good turn of pace here. After we've got all of our feed, which we'll be using. It's the final, there's a second class climb. But it's not too steep, not too bad. Okay, we're just trying to separate this group. It might not make too much of a difference. As you can see, this group is riding hard. It's looking okay at the moment. I mean, it looks so small, that group does, to what it usually is. But uh, a big climb here. We have made about a minute up on the guys at the front. We're not aiming to do that particularly. We're just trying to set some good pace so that the guys that are less equipped... And we'll fall off the back of now. What is the peloton? I mean, all of our three guys in a group of their own. That's great to see. Supporting one another. It is a steep climb though coming up. So we need to focus. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be okay. We've got a full feed left. We're looking to not use all of that. But definitely at least half of it. But we have got a good descent after that. So it'll be good to not use all of our feed. So we're four kilometres away from the top here. We might well catch up to the guys at the front if they've completely lost it. We've certainly caught up to Costa. Uh, we're going to follow Fuglesang for the moment. We're going to have to consume some of our blue feed, I think, here. The road doesn't come down straight away after this. That's an important note to make. So we can't consume everything here and all of our energy. Because the descent is not straight away, but... A very tough climb, as you can see. There's no reprieve at all. That 10% really threw out. Use a little bit of our pink feed. That isn't going to hurt. I think uh, Banal and Carapaz should be alright, to be fair. Particularly Banal. His endurance just amazes me. But it's just all about surviving up this uh, climb, to be quite honest. Rather than making any particular gains. Carapaz is being good at protecting the whole group. We're riding okay at the moment. Just need to focus on those energy levels. Going up and down in pace. A few of the guys starting to struggle behind. Let's try and get back in that front group with Garant. 
Just kept Bernal to ride in front of us. As you can see, so little blue energy left. And two kilometres to go to the top. We're going to have to consume some more of our blue feed. Uh, Carapaz is okay for the moment. I think he should be okay at least. But Bernal is doing an outstanding job. I might well get Bernal to try and increase the pace here. Just try and... He's the new leader of the overall standing. Annoy some of the people. Okay, that's enough. That will do. Just a good turn of pace. We'll get uh, Carapaz to consume some of his some of his gel. But now riding with a good pace. That's good to see. Right, Garant. Gonna have to use a little bit more of our feed here. Good stuff from Bernal. It'll just make that group ride a little bit harder, consume a little bit more of their energy. As you can see, I think somebody, that the fifth guy in that group, is starting to blow up. Quintana, sorry, the sixth guy in that group. Thomas is struggling. But uh, we'll try and make the time back up. That's not great, actually, is it? No, I just thought about that. Okay, a kilometre to the top. I think Evan Op Opino, sorry, is starting to struggle now. Right, come on. We know our blue energy is going to run out here pretty much, but we should be able to survive on the pink stuff till the top. Hopefully. Oh, maybe we can't. Bloody hell, that was a the bad estimate to make. Forgot how quickly that pink energy starts to come down. I always call it pink. It's red. One of the Astana riders starting to struggle. Rog oh, Rodlick is starting to struggle. Bernal's going to get a point over the top. Fuglesang and Carapaz keeping up with ultimately the... The two wrong riders, really. Consume some of our red gel. Our job with Garant Thomas is just to put a real good turn of pace in on the descent and try and catch these guys up. It's going to be tricky, but we'll give it a go. We're going to pull Carapaz out of that leading group just to wait for Garant Thomas, give him a little bit of support. But this is worrying me a little bit now. At least we got this descent. We're going to try our best just to try and uh, catch up to the guys ahead. But it's going to be a tough ask. Again, I think we've misjudged this a little. A teammate has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. Not worried. Carapaz is ultimately uh, waiting for Garant here. Rogelik in a group of his own. Fuglesang and Bernal striving well. But ultimately, we need a good descent here with Garant Thomas. I hate these corners. But we just need to gain some pace, try and get up to the leaders again. The worst of the climbs have been done, really. The gap starting to minimise slightly. Benali's going to take that white jersey today. That's great to see. But still 25 kilometers to go. A lot can happen between now and then. Really the yellow jersey holds the man we want to focus on, Rodlick. As you can see, so little blue energy. That's the problem, I think, here. But we're having to ride hard. That's the only option. Right, the gap now. 50 seconds to Rodlick. So we're not doing too bad. We can get up to Carapaz. We can follow him. Get in his... Uh, Space, as you can see, following him now. Great. And the gap, 40-odd seconds to Rodlick. So the two groups are amalgamated now. The group of uh, Rodlick, Fuglsang, Bernal. I don't know who else is there. De Moulin's there. So that's Rodlick's teammate. Thomas about 40 seconds behind. It's not looking too bad. It's just that lack of feed and lack of blue energy that I worry about. And obviously we're starting the climb here. They're just up ahead. We'll follow Quintana. We're going to have to put in a good turn of pace here, aren't we, really? Just the lack of blue energy I really worry about. I 
mean, look at how low it is. And that's consumed pretty much all of our feed here. To be fair, it's not a bad climb. It's only 4.7 at, uh, at the top. But we're really going to have to put a good, a good turn of pace in here to try and catch up. I think we're going to struggle here. Carapaz just behind. That gap's starting to come down, but ultimately at the same time, our energy coming down as well. Just going to have to manage that very carefully. Ultimately, I think that we've lost our chance with Grant Thomas. As you can see, so little blue energy left. Mm. I think this has gone wrong. There's Carapaz. I mean, remarkably, Bernal's still got all of his uh, feed left. I think what we're probably best doing is just uh, get Carapaz to protect Grant Thomas. And just push like hell with Bernal. Try and tie the other guys out. That's all we can do, really. we got a full feed. Try and tie these guys out. It's the only thing we can do here. Oh my god, they're losing so much time. Well, we can't really do too much about it. So the guys behind are attacking as well. The aim here is just to tie the guys behind out so that Carapaz and Thomas get a chance. But look at this, they're just being dropped now. Mm. I think it's all over, folks. I think it's all over for the Tour de France, unfortunately. Might as well consume all of our energy now with Bernal. I mean, look at how far they're behind. Ouch. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll get Bernal to consume the rest of his feed. And just hope that the other guys are tied out. Two minutes, that's a long way to make up. Really is. Hmm. I'm gutted, I really am. It's just not gone right. But Bernal doing a really good job, to be honest. Just a kick in the teeth that it's not him going for this... Uh, this yellow jersey. Because he'd have been the main man, ultimately. Oh, I mean, just look at Garant. Losing so much energy. Again, we're just going to hope that Fugslang and... Uh, Rodgelik blow up. I can't see it. I think Bernal's going to win the stage again. But we've got a, a slope coming up. I mean, Fugslang is starting to lose a little bit of time. That gap coming down to just over a minute now, which is encouraging. Get out of the way, Carapaz. Goodness sake. I think they were losing time because of the ascent, possibly. Rather than anything else. So, it's time for the descent. Only five kilometers left for the race leader. Goodness me. The top guys have done really well. I can't see it. I really can't see it now. We're just going to have to go with Bernal. This is so horrible. But, the best we can hope for, I suppose, is for... Um, Fugslang and Rodgelik to blow up. I don't see why they would, because ultimately... Well, I just don't get the point of them pushing too much here. I mean, Bernal will finish fifth. That's an excellent result. Alright, we're going to have to go back to Garant here. Try and make the most of this descent. So the gap is a minute and a half. Let's just try and minimise that. That's all we can do. Five and a half kilometres to go. Our corners are absolutely dreadful though. The breakaway is going to win today. Not really too much of a surprise. But as you can see, they're a kilometre and a half up on us. I think this is where we've lost the Tour de France. Unless there's a real surprise. Bear in mind that Rodgelik's going to have, what, a four-minute lead on us? Bernal's going to come across the line in fifth. That's brilliant for him. As you can see, Thomas just got no energy left at all. Oh, man. 
Well, what can you do? Nothing you can do about it. <sighs> Gutting. Oh, wow. Well, we've hit the wall for good measure. Bloody hell. Fogel sang ninth, Rodlick sixth. Criminal. <sighs> disaster, that. Absolute disaster. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to finish the stage now. Well, I, I really don't know what to say. I don't think there's much we could have done, though. Grant Thomas just did, did not have the endurance there at all. Bernal did. But what could we have done there? Not a lot. Maybe got Thomas to attack with Bernal. You could see that it was so marginal with Grant. Fogel Sang and Rodlick had more pace. And I think you're fighting a losing battle already. Well, I'm not interested in the finish. Really not. I think barring a miracle now, it's uh, Rodlick's race to lose, ultimately. Stage winner, though. A good stage win from the breakaway. Banute wins the stage. The general classification, no surprise that Rodlick still leads that. Kvatkowski still leads the points classification and the best climber classification. But for the first time, Egan Bernal leads the uh, white jersey classification, the young rider classification. That's great to see. But we've got all the jerseys apart from the main one. The result is clearly not up to my expectations, guys. It isn't catastrophic, but when you've got victory in mind, it's obviously a disappointment. We retain the green jersey. At least that's something. Yeah, well, he shares my disappointment there. Bernal, a brilliant stage for him. You know, if that had been Grant Thomas in fifth, with a 1 minute 16 gap, we'd been in jumping for joy. Carapaz, 12th. Grant Thomas, only 20th. So, general classification. I mean, just look at how well Bernal's done recently. He moves to fourth place. He finished, what, 13 minutes behind in that second stage? Just imagine where he'd be now. Grant Thomas, three minutes behind. Bernal, ten minutes behind. Fuglesang moves into second. Kovatkowski down three places. Uh, Carapaz makes it four riders in the top ten still for us. Best climber classification. Surely we've won that now. De Gent, no points. Bernal, third still. Points classification still lead by 23 points. We get the white jersey for the first time. Team classification we lead. We lead every classification apart from the one that really matters. But I guess it's not all over yet. I know we've said that this stage would decide where the, the yellow jersey goes. But I guess it's not all over yet. Three stages to go. I guess anything could happen. We've got a leader's jersey. We retain the lead in the points classification. But ultimately, it's going to be very hard from here to win the Tour de France. to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. It'll be important to pick up maximum points to consolidate our top spot for the green jersey. This stage is of no interest to us. Keep cozy inside the peloton. Have a good stage. Well, I guess today, or rather tomorrow, we'll just have to take a risk, take a chance. I think we'll definitely put Kovatkowski in that breakaway. Get some uh, important sprinting points, as you can see. Well, the climbing classification is over. There's only, what, 10 points maximum left? So that's it uh, for that. And we're going to put Kvatkovsky in the breakaway. And I think we have to put Grant Thomas in the breakaway in the hope that something bonkers happens. But after this stage, less than 100 kilometers to go. we got the time trial. That could be different. I've never done a time trial before. So that could be disastrous or surprisingly good. And then we get the final stage. 
two sprints. Well, ultimately, stage is eight. Stage eighteen was the last chance, but I guess stage nineteen is really the last chance. Twenty and twenty-one, there's not really much we can do, but stage nineteen, who knows? What can we do? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've been TIJ Gaming, and guess it's not all over yet. I think it is, but uh, I guess you just never know. And we'll see in the next few days who will pick up that yellow jersey. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been TIJ Gaming. Until the next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.